Welcome back to the channel guys. Let's get straight into it. Special shout out to Massive Wagons for finding last week's hidden character. Looks like they actually have an album coming out in October. So if you guys are interested, make sure to check them out. But back to the video, there's going to be a hidden character from the fairly odd parents hidden throughout the clips. Same rules apply as always guys. Whoever comments down below the name of that character with the correct timestamp gets a shout out for next week's video. Let's get it. So for this week guys is more so just some tips and advice on how I personally take a flag. Now I'm more so on the aggressive side when it comes to playing Battlefield. So as soon as I saw we lost this flag I went straight to it. And tip number one I can give you guys is mobility. As soon as you guys go for the flag guys you gotta move around. Do not just stand in one corner thinking you're gonna get the flag like that. Especially if it's filled with enemies. You're gonna get run up on and clapped okay so you gotta move around. Now number two is map awareness. Like right now it may seem like I know where people are at because I'm getting these kills left and right. But it's just because I'm so aware of the map because I've played with it so often that I know where people like to hide and camp and run around. And those two right there kind of play hand in hand. So you got to be able to move around and know the map well when you guys are taking a flat. Now another advice I can give you guys is just that icon up ahead right there on the screen. It basically gives you an idea of how many enemies are on the screen. Obviously, if there's a lot of red on it, there's a lot of enemies. If there's little red, there's not that many enemies. Now, another sleeper tip is your auditory. You got to listen. Like right here, I heard this guy's footsteps before he even came. So I knew to get ready. I'm telling you guys, raise the volume on your TV or your headset, whatever you use to play. And it's going to help you guys tremendously. Trust me, okay? Now, adding on to the list is basically be smart on certain aspects when taking a flag, like reviving. Uh, as I'm going down the bridge, I see people are dead right here. So I'm like, OK, let me scope out the area because the killer should be nearby. Sure enough, there he is. And because if I were to have revived those people beforehand, he would have got me easily and I would have been dead just like everyone else. So play smart, guys. Know when to revive. Know when not to revive. And last on my list is no one to push and no one to run. OK, right here, I can hear yet again your auditory. So make sure you use that. I can hear that I'm getting sniped at. So I'm like, OK, I don't know where he's at. I can't see him. So best course of action is to run. Got to run. He has the upper hand. He knows where I'm at. I don't know where he's at. So I just got to keep running, get some cover. Now, this guy right here, on the other hand, he shot me from the front and I caught a, I got a peep right here where he's at. So I said bet. I, I got him. So right here is is a good time where I can push because like I said before, I'm pretty aggressive when it comes to playing. So I said, you know what? Let me just go on the left hand side to get some cover and let me push this guy right here. And sure enough, I did fire some warning shots right here just to see if he'd fall for it and peep. And sure enough, he did. <laughs> and I got the easy kill like that. So that's a perfect example right there of knowing when to run and knowing when to push. So I hope those tips right there that I gave you guys, I think a total of six. I hope they helped you guys in any type of way. I know certain people have been struggling when taking flags when playing Battlefield. So I hope I can help right there. And yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And like always, make sure to be back next week for another video. Peace.